Hi guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be storing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, today I'm going to be doing a story time. That's how you know I haven't told a story time in a minute. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a story time. You guys are always asking about like videos where I almost got into a fight or where I argued with people, blah, 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 blah. So this is going to be a story time that took place when I was probably 14 years old of when this bitch was literally like this like delusional ass little girl. Okay, so this story time took place when I was in like eighth grade. So I was probably 14 years old. And I don't know why drama is just so like when you're 14, 15, 16, drama is just like so blown out of proportion like all the time. Like there's no way to keep a situation contained. There's no way to fucking dial that shit back. If it's drama, it's drama. And when I was 14, 15, 16, I was always in some shit always because i was just like even now i'm a hothead and like i my mouth is crazy but back then i didn't i didn't know how to shut the fuck up and i didn't know when to shut the fuck up so this takes place when i was in eighth grade when i was in eighth grade i mostly hung out with this girl oh, i need to give her a name we're gonna call her kermit now i mostly hung out with kermit like kermit was my home skillet biscuit we hung out damn near every single day since like fifth grade like that was my bitch so like i said we were like this and at the time i was moving back to the school that i was going to in eighth grade so i didn't go to that school for seventh grade so i didn't know what kermit was doing in seventh grade like friend wise i don't know who she was hanging around because when i was hanging out with her it was just like us two so when i moved back to the school that i was at I seen like her friends and the kind of people she was hanging around and it was all like mostly just drama but like at the end of the day I was 14 that's just that I liked I'm like ooh drama 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 so Kermit had this one friend and this bitch just did not fucking like me and I everybody would call her Jordan 2.0 because her and Kermit became like this but I didn't know this girl like this girl didn't know me from a can of paint but before she even met me she just decided that she did not fucking like me. I don't know why. I don't know how. But she just decided that she didn't like me. And I was just like, okay. Like, so. Did you guys fucking hear that? I think it was a ghost. No, there's literally some people outside the fucking window. But anyway. So, yeah, she just decided she didn't like me. Like, whatever the fuck. So the first day of school came around of eighth grade and I met up with Kermit, like blah, blah, blah. Kermit's like, oh, this is my bitch. Let's call this bitch Pencil. She's like, this is my bitch Pencil. Like, you know, I've been fucking with her. Like, we're cool as fuck. Like, she's funny as fuck. Blase, blase. And I'm like, oh, hi, my name is Jordan. Nice to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, we, we all tried to be cool. Like, I tried to be cool with this bitch. I did. Okay. Like, I really tried to be cool with this bitch because I'm like, okay. If you're fucking with Kermit, like, Kermit is my girl, like, y'all must be cool. Like, you gotta be a cool-ass bitch, but... So, I think the first week of school, we all tried to hang out. And I had got the vibe that this bitch didn't like me, and I knew I didn't like this bitch. Because it's like, there's a difference between, like, you are in drama versus you're messy. Like, she was in drama and she was messy. I feel like I was just always in drama because... I stick up for my friends and I talk my own shit, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to talk about every fucking body. Like, this bitch would talk about everybody and sit in their face. So I'm like, okay, this bitch is messy. I don't really like her. And I had been hearing around school that she was, like, making little sly, slick comments about me. And I'm like, okay, so I know this bitch is messy because she'd be talking about people to me and then goes and sits up with them. So then I know if people are coming to me saying, oh, she's talking about you why would i like i would why would i not believe that because clearly i know that's your character to talk about somebody and then come sit in their face so when i was hearing that i believed it because i'm like yeah that sounds like something that this bitch would do so um like keep in mind i had told kermit i'm like you know i don't really like your homegirl like that I, I don't fuck with this bitch she's like oh no like she's really cool she's so funny and i'm like no i don't fuck with that bitch so i ended up like having a cr like first of all this bitch was insane so i ended up having a crush on this one boy there's gonna be two boys in this story boy number one will be named chris boy number two will be named nick okay so i ended up having a crush on this boy named chris and the way that my middle school was my middle school was not just a middle school it was elementary school too so there was a real middle school behind our school like i didn't go to a 
a public middle school. My middle school is a charter school. It was a Mormon school. I'm not fucking Mormon. I don't know why I went there, but I, whatever. So my middle school was like a charter Mormon school. And then the school behind us was a public middle school. So I had a crush on this dude named Chris and he went to the public middle school. And every day after school, the public middle school and the middle schoolers from my school would all go to this one fast food restaurant. So I had seen him the first time in the fast food restaurant. I'm like, oh, he's cute. He's cute. He had followed me on Instagram. So I followed him back. We were texting blase, blase. So I find out that this fucking bitch pencil is texting him. And I'm just like, like, oh, fucking K, bitch. So I just stopped texting that boy because I'm like, okay, well, clearly maybe they were texting first. And keep in mind, at this point, I'm not really talking to pencil like that. Like if she comes around, we're saying our highs, our buys, but we like, it's very obvious we don't fuck with each other like everybody who's around us knows that we just don't fuck with each other i don't like her she doesn't like me so i'm like okay she clearly wants to fuck with chris like whatever you got it so i start fucking with this dude named nick now me and nick were texting some more like it was kind of like okay when we would go after school i would talk to him with chris it was more like a like a text fucking situation like we were just texting all the time but with chris i talked to him in person like we would all chill after school at the fast food restaurant and then one day one fucking day somebody comes up to me in the morning before school starts because the way like i said it's an elementary school and a middle school so we're all like chilling on the fucking playground before school starts somebody comes up to me and shows me a video of pencil kissing nick after school yesterday and i'm just like wasn't this bitch just talking to chris so now it's kind of seeming to me like okay everything i want you want too like that kind of gave me a weird ass vibe i mean they're already calling you jordan 2.0 do you want my life it's not that great baby you want my life so i'm like what the fuck so when i seen that i didn't get mad that's like not why i got like why i wanted to beat this bitch up but no so when i seen that i got mad because i'm like this bitch like real life wants to be me you talk all this shit about me from what i hear but you want to be me like that's what it seems like at the end of the day because you want to hang out with the people I hang out with. You want to fuck with the boys I'm fucking with. Like, this bitch wants to be me. Like, that's what it seems like, right? So, I'm like, okay. This bitch is clearly fucking delusional. So, a few weeks go by. And I'm just still hearing through the grapevine that this bitch is popping her rah-rah shit about me. Blase, fucking blase. So, Monday, she texts me on Snapchat. And she's like, I heard that you said. I don't even know what the fuck she thought I like said about her. But she's like, I heard that you said blah, blah, blah. I said, I didn't say shit about you, but I heard that you said blah, blah, blah about me. And keep in mind, I knew the people who told me, because the people who told me what she said were like, we're like, we're cool. We're like this. So the people who told me what she said, I knew they wouldn't be lying. Like, it's nothing to fucking lie about. So I'm like, oh, I heard you said this about me. And she's like, no, I didn't say shit about you. I don't be talking about you, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, okay, girl, like, I let her have it. Like, you're, you're lying. I know you're lying. Whatever. You got that. So we had like went back and forth a little bit more on Snapchat and then she had started posting more pictures with Nick as if that was going to piss me off like bitch. I was I've already moved on. We're fucking 14 years old. I'm not I'm not like pregnant with Nick's baby. I'm not obsessing over Nick. Like that doesn't really do much for me. So then I started noticing that Kermit and Pencil were like drifting apart a little bit drifting apart a little bit and for me this is like okay fine fucking lane because this bitch kermit or this bitch pencil is a fucking weird ass bitch like she's fucking weird so pencil starts hanging out with this new girl like she's not new to the school but this is a new like friendship she starts hanging out with this new girl and her and this bitch were constantly a mess and this bitch her friend started talking about my friend kermit so now it's like okay i have a problem with both of you bitches because you're talking about my friend so they like had some words like a little argument and it was just like whatever the fuck but then one day because kermit had a class with pencil and she comes up to me after class kermit and she's like bitch why the fuck was pencil saying blase blase about you and i'm like okay and now at the time it's like okay why could somebody be comfortable talking about me in front of you but we were fucking 14 i'm sure that they were all talking shit but whatever so at the time i'm like that bitch said what about me like blah 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 and i'm just like mad but i hadn't seen this bitch because i didn't have any classes with her i didn't have the same lunch as her like it was probably the second semester because i remember i used to have like lunch with her but at this point i didn't have class with her i didn't have lunch with her i would have had to see her after school before school like it would have to be like i would have just had to see her and at the same time 
I was already in so much other fucking drama that it was just like, this was just like, wow, a fucking course, a fucking course, because I was literally in so much drama all the time for no fucking reason, like genuinely in the counselor's office all the time. So one day at PE, like our PE, like, I'm like, I'm telling you, it was a weird school. Like we didn't have like normal, like it was fucking weird. So our PE was outside today and there was something happening in the multi-purpose room which is where you would like probably have a real fucking PE at because we didn't have like an inside gym we only had multi-purpose rooms we didn't have like basketball courts inside like our like our lunch room wasn't like a real like it was just fucking weird so we were uh, outside there was something going on in the multi-purpose room but I asked, like, oh, can I go to the bathroom? So I go inside to go to the bathroom, which is across from the multi-purpose room. I don't remember what was happening in there. When I walked into the bathroom, I seen Pencil. So I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm not even about to trip with this bitch. But then I was like, no. So I had walked in the stall, and I was like, no. So I opened the stall back out. I opened the stall back up, and her friend was in the bathroom with her. And her friend seemed to come back out. She, like, dapped this bitch up, and she's like, okay, I'll see you in class. Yeah, bitch, get the fuck out of here. So... I say to Pencil, I'm like, oh, I heard you said blase blase about me um, yesterday when you were in PE. She's like, I didn't say nothing about you, girl, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, why, why am I hearing that? And she's like, well, I don't know why you're hearing that because I didn't say anything about you. I said, okay, well, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to fight? Like, why do you keep talking about me? She's like, what? Do I want to fight? I said, yeah, do you want to fight? And she's like, no, I don't want to fight. And I said, okay, so stop talking about me. I didn't even fucking go to the bathroom. I just left because I was so fucking mad at that point because I'm like, okay, you don't want to fight. But you keep talking about me so like what like what's your end goal here like what do you like what are you planning on getting out of this you don't want to fight you don't you say you're not talking shit so then what's your end goal here bitch because like what so i had seen carmen at lunch and i'm like yeah like and that's called like pressing the issue so it was like oh jordan pressed oh, i keep almost saying this bitch's name jordan pressed pencil in the bathroom blah 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 and i'm just like yeah like whatever yeah i did because this bitch keeps talking about me but she doesn't want to fight like and Honestly, it was kind of good that she didn't want to fight because I was already in so much fucking drama and I was already about to be suspended because I literally could not stay out of drama. So, yay. Thanks, Pencil, because you probably saved me a fucking suspension. But no, till this day, I really wish that bitch would have said yes so I could have whooped her ass right in that bathroom. Because I told I told um, my homegirl, I'm like, yeah, Kermit, Pencil, I pressed her in the bathroom. This bitch didn't want to fight, blah, blah, blah. She's like... That bitch is so uh, that bitch is so fucking weird because she's still talking shit and I'm like you know what at the end of the day she can talk all the shit she wants because now I know she's scary because I just tried to fight this bitch and she didn't want to fight so it was like okay you you can talk all the shit you want I know you're scary now I know that I could beat you up because you're scary you're scary like why are you so scary because if you if she really wanted to fight me there was no teachers like anywhere a fucking around there there was no teachers in the around there there was nobody in the bathroom like if she really wanted to fight it could have just been like me and you fight nobody knows nobody's gonna stop it so i'm like but i bet you if there was a crowd in the bathroom she would have wanted to fight i can guarantee if there was a crowd in the bathroom she would have wanted to fight but i think she just didn't want to fight because it was just me and her like honestly because she didn't have nobody to do it for because she had my other homegirl she had like she would start arguments with this bitch all the time try to fight this bitch all the time but it would be like in the hallway like during passing period like when every fucking mind out of class like that's when she would try to fight this bitch so i'm like you're doing this because you have an audience because when we were just alone in the bathroom you were trying to make nothing shake so i don't know but that is story time about me and that bitch fucking pencil and her fucking fake ass and like all that other shit and just stay out of drama. If you're in eighth grade, stay out of drama. It's not worth it because now I regret all the fucking drama I was in because it was so stupid. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this story time. If you guys want more story times, I'm trying to get back to posting on YouTube at least twice a week, bitch, but it's hard. But yeah, so subscribe, leave a comment, and like. Bye, guys.